air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you guys, the audio completely went out. Um, I had filmed your reading and I went back and watched it. It was completely silent. It's like it got my first message and then it went all the way out. So I don't know what that's about, but maybe silence is key. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So you never know what you could find in the forest. You guys have the eight of pentacles. You have the four of pentacles. You have the protection card, well-being card, big Papa Saturn, feeling restricted, experience struggle, learn hard work and with patience and patience, fire, confidence, optimism, passion, and bravery. And then you have arrows, okay? Which I felt was quite interesting that it came out because I felt like, whoa, how does arrows fit into this? But soon you will see. So I see you guys being called to retreat. Okay, there could be a vacation that you need, you guys need to go on, maybe even a little staycation, road trip, but go spend some time in fresh air, anywhere you can go where there's not a lot of technology, um, not a lot of noise. We keep having these um, symbols, well, depictions of flower fields. You have a flower field here, and this card, the protection card, as well as your four of pentacles, okay? And then you have the forest itself, so... You need to be surrounded by nature, air signs. You strongly need to be surrounded by nature. There needs to be a good balance of work and rest, okay? When it gets, I'm hearing off, like I'm here off kilter. When it's uneven, that's where the problem begins. And that's when you experience burnout. And that's when you start to feel um, not so inspired or enthusiastic to go after your dreams and goals. So they're saying for you, air signs, you need to rest, okay? Rest then work, rest then play. There needs to be balance in your life and that's what they're, what they're calling you to do. They're also asking you, are you working on things that actually bring you happiness? The things that you're working on, everything that you're putting your energy, time, and intention, I'm, I'm hearing intentions and attention to, is it worth it? Two, 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 are these things that bring you joy, are these things that bring you happiness? Are, are these the things that set your heart on fire? Because they're asking you to go towards the things that I'm hearing ideas, goals, hobbies, people, places that start your, that set your heart on fire. I'm hearing set your, your sight higher, you know, look higher, be like the eagle and see from higher perspective, really be the eagle over your, over your own life. They're showing me an eagle flying and it's looking at everything that's happening here below it, you know, on earth. And they're saying that you need to be like that with your life. Is there anything that you see while you're in flight that you don't like? Be like the owl and see through the darkness. Is there anything within yourself that you feel like I, I need to do better? I need to release. Okay, so they're saying move forward bravely in in an optimistic manner knowing that things will be better things will get better things won't always be hard it won't always be an uphill battle but they're saying you need to be able to see things clearly and see what you deserve and what you desire three 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 okay now let's talk about this well-being i see a period of rest and solitude and silence being key silence being golden golden <laughs> i'm hearing living my life like it's golden Taking time to really just tend to your needs. Spend time in nature with animals, that type of thing. But I see you working hard. I see things working in your favor. I actually see that you guys are going to be recognized for, for your hard work quite soon. I'm hearing with great effort and patience, things will bloom. Things take time to bloom. Flowers don't bloom overnight, and that's where you're at right now, air signs. You guys are in a blooming stage, okay? This is where the seed's just been planted, and the, the little flower is slowly growing. This plant is slowly growing, so give it time, okay? Patience is needed, and water yourself. I'm hearing FKA, water me, okay? So this would be a good time for you guys to do an overall um, review of where you're placing your energy, your time, your resources, and your money. Actually write it down, 444. You guys are getting all the angel numbers, showing that you are in alignment, or you will be soon. They're saying, write it down. Look at what's really pulling from you, what's draining you, 
okay? Is the investment worth it? Eight of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles also says that it's time to start saving and putting money aside, possibly for a trip, possibly for something you want to build, all right? But they're saying start place, placing money aside, all right? This could even be investing money, okay? Making your money work for you, right? Working smarter, not harder. Something you're holding on to, look at this. We have her holding on to this pinnacle, her holding on to this earth, this globe, right? <laughs> and we have her holding on to multiple pinnacles. So there's a lot of multitasking, like need. I'm hearing functioning. I don't know, I just heard that. Like trying to handle, handle multiple things at once. Um, they're saying that there's going to be a time to release control and to allow the universe, like really allow the universe to step in. Overall, air signs are saying there's an easier way for you to go about things, okay? You don't have to hold on so tightly. They're saying there's an easier way to go about things. There's an easier way to align with your desires. But overall, your connection needs to be with Mother Earth. There's a lot of fairy energy here. Um, connection with Earth goddesses. You really need, and, and Earth gods with arrows here. You really need to slow down and reconnect with Mother Nature. Now, let's get into this forest message that you have over here okay camping could even be something that you feel called to do okay so the woods the thicket the jungle consider for a moment your earliest memory of the forest it's likely it included all the mythic dynamics of this archetypal space a little fear a little enchantment perhaps losing your way perhaps discovering a secret mystical treasure such is the magic of the forest it requires first that you enter it and then that you get lost within it you may think that there is a path to lead you straight through, but soon, you, soon enough, you'll be on what is known as a pathless path. There are tricksters here, dense foliage and entanglement, but equally present are the glimmers of fairy light and friends among the trees. You're on an adventure now and there's no turning back. So embrace the dim light and the moving shadows, whether it's literal or imaginal. Brave the forest and get lost getting found. This represents magic being being around you. Magic abounds, childlike wonder and adventure. The hunter, the maiden, the crone, and the shaman make regular appearances in the forest. Don't be surprised if these cards come up together. Let the narrative reveal itself. So once again, you never know who you can meet in the unknown. You never know what the unknown has for you. If you get out of the forest without feeling lost... You were only in a little grove of trees. The great archetypal forest requires we spend at least one night frightened for our lives. So once again, be in the unknown. That's that's the that's excitement of it all. Be in the unknown and and just know that your seeds, your your I'm hearing your manifestations are growing. But be comfortable in the unknown. Be comfortable in the unknown uncertainty first okay now let's see what eros has to say um for you guys because i find eros coming up in your reading to be quite interesting i also got a vision of star wars you guys where anakin is i forget is it princess is she the princess or is she the empress um where he's laying there with his love interest i forget her name okay in the flower field so star wars could be important all right love as desire errata is eroticism is sensuality though arrows can be depicted as unbridled mm, unbridled sexuality and eroticism a more contemplative understanding of this archetypal energy leads us to the root of desire itself what do we long for why are we awakened by love what makes us hesitate in the face of intimacy eros reconnects us with the primal longing to merge with another human being nature music art, plants, food, or anything that we perceive we are separate from. Eros allows us to momentarily unite. Our heart embraces otherness, and in doing so, we further understand We further understand our own. Our life force awakens. This card reveals an inevitable initiation into love's labyrinth. You may find yourself swirling in a new territory of desire and sensuality. Explore the labyrinth with a curious and honest heart, and remember, though the way is circuitous you are always being led towards its center passion playfulness and sexual health take care of your well-being
That's key. The Hindu goddess Lalita, she who plays, can help activate Eros energy. She is also known as Kimshavari, Empress of Desire. So it's funny that we have this card. Who She looks like a uh, Hindu goddess as well. So you guys might feel co connected to a Hindu goddess or India or Hinduism. But I am strongly getting um, Natalie Portman's character in Star Wars along with Anakin. So there could be a divine partnership that will be coming into your life quite soon. I'm hearing soul family, soul tribe. But I'm hearing there will be some trickster spirits along the way. So be mindful of this and really tap into your discernment and strong intuition to know who's who. I'm hearing masks, people wearing masks and masks being, I mean, I'm hearing being released. So you may get the truth of someone's motives or their intentions quite soon, but love is around the corner is what I'm hearing.